from whisk with an electric misc. I've not got an electric misc. <gasps> Charlotte special, I'll call it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a baking video. Cheesecake bake with me. I've got the recipe off BBC Good Food, but I've also got some white chocolate buttons to mix in with the mixture so it's going to be a white chocolate and strawberry cheesecake which i've never made before so uh, oh sorry if you can hear the rain it might be really loud i don't know i've never made it before so filming the first time i've made white chocolate and strawberry cheesecake and the recipe doesn't even say this i'm just going to melt it and stir it in with a mixture is that not is that what you do so you i'll read out the things you need 250 grams digested biscuits 100 grams of butter one vanilla pod, which I've just got vanilla extract. Is that gonna work the same? I hope so. 600 grams of full fat soft cheese, 100 grams of icing sugar, 284 milliliter pot of double cream. I've just got 300 and I'll probably just put 300 in, I don't know. For, and then for the top, um, I put it, 400 gram put it of strawberries. I've just got these. I'm also, for the top, gonna put, instead of just a, load of strawberries on the top. I want to put like a strawberry sauce on so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I've already cut out the baking sheet and put it in. God I keep chopping my head off and put it in there. I just thought I'd say what I'm wearing so this necklace, I'm wearing, oh, I'm wearing my rings, sheen ring um, and both Pandora rings. I'm wearing this necklace which I got from a company called Class A Certified or Class Certified and they also have a 15% um, discount code which I'll put on the screen and I'll link it in the description code in the description box if you want to look at the website um, I'm wearing this top from Sheen which is also in my Sheen haul these <laughs> from Sheen which is in my Sheen haul and this cropped jacket little thing so i'm weighing out these biscuits right so I've 250 grams in here 17 digestive biscuits is 250 grams that's how many digestive biscuits we need for the base now i'm going to put them in this plastic bag maybe i should crack them up a bit myself i'll do it with my hands first and then get um, a rolling pin Actually, whilst I'm doing this, the butter needs to be melted and it's not. So, put it in the microwave. Right, that's on for a minute. I'm going to take my rings off now because I just don't want things to be stuck underneath or anything like that. I'm going to mix this all in that small bowl so that with a creamy mixture, there's not like loads of bread breadcrumbs, biscuit crumbs, just so that it's a bit clean. Got a red non stick spoon. Let that cool a little bit just whilst I finish with this. So what it said so far, to make the base, butter and line a 23 centimetre loose bottom tin with baking parchment, which is what I've done. Put digested biscuits in a plastic food bag and crush the crumbs. Yeah. Transfer the crumbs to a bowl. So once this is melted and the finished things, I'm going to put the crumbs in this bowl. Then pour over the melted butter. Oh well, do it the other way around. Put, it says put the butter with the crumbs. But I don't think it really matters. And then put it in the tin. So. Right, I'm just going to do half. Half for now. And then fold it all around. You see. Just so that they're all coated. Right, maybe. I misjudged how many crumbs. <gasps> I had. I'm just going to carry on stirring this now. Oh, I've got no room to mix because there's so much. It smells good though. I told you this is my first time doing it. No practice. Fake it till you make it. I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's fine. And then we'll pour this and cover the base. Turn the fridge to set for an hour. 
see what it looks like. And it's got to go in the fridge for an hour. So, so step two, slice a vanilla pod in half. I don't have a vanilla pod. Step, I'm just gonna miss step two and just put a teaspoon of vanilla in. Slice the vanilla pod in half lengthways, leaving the tip intact so that the two halves are still joined, holding onto the tip of the pod. What's a vanilla pod? I don't even know what it is. Scrape out the seeds using, I'm just putting a teaspoon of vanilla extract in when I need to. Pour the double cream into a bowl and whisk with an electric misco. I've not got an electric misco. I think I'm just gonna have to. 300 millilitres I've got, it said 284. I don't think they're gonna come and tell me off, do you? Yeah, oh, Keep it in. Zzz, go on. Shut one <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby, now you're thinking. <laughs> Working. Yeah, I didn't know, yeah. Working that shop. Well good. Well good, right. What are you making? Cheesecake? Yeah, and I'm going to put some white chocolate mix into it, so white chocolate and strawberry cheesecake. Oh my days. Place the soft cheese, icing sugar and the vanilla seeds in a separate bowl. A separate bowl? You see, we don't have a separate bowl. Right, this is a jug bowl. Great for pancakes. Great from Lakeland. Lakeland. If anyone wants it. Icing sugar. Soft cheese and a teaspoon of, it says the vanilla seeds. BBC food. I don't have any vanilla seeds. Three full fat soft cheese. 200 grams each and we need 600 grams. And then the icing sugar, which I'll weigh out in a second. All in, icing sugar and the vanilla seeds. Icing sugar. 82, 88, 90, 100, 102. Do you know you can taste icing sugar? Do you know what I mean? What we say in a teaspoon. Oh, mix this again. Let's plug the electric whisk her back in. I don't think it's doing what it wants it to do. start to thick again then start to thicken again oh it's just gone off that was so typical okay i'm back so <laughs> the laptop's died with the thing on but i've got it on my computer i've got it on my computer the recipe ring light's gone i do hope that the light isn't that bad i think it'll be all right so now we've got the cheesecake mixture we've got the double cream the cheesecake mixture, dip it into the bowl with the double cream and then fold it all together. Right, I'm going to get another one of them red spoons because I can get the whole bowl. Mmm, smells nice. And then fold the double cream in. Right, it's it. <laughs> 
it's got to be thick enough. If you tip it upside down, it'll hold its shape. It's not like that. We're at it again. Don't from Mary Berry. <laughs> oh, not Charlotte Berry. I'm better than Mary Berry. <laughs> made it runnier. It's made it thinner. Seriously. Is this going to be like bake with me gone wrong or something because it's genuinely made it thinner than what it was. So do I just keep mixing and it'll go thicker? I'm hoping so. Maybe I should have done it before I filmed the video. I didn't think cheesecake was that hard. Still keep going. I'm just gonna keep whisking. It's 10 to 6 now, I'll tell you when I've finished whisking. Zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's gotta go in there. And it turns in. Roses. Roses. I've never used it before. <laughs> that goes in there. Yeah, so nothing Keeps comes out. Keep some lid on it. You put your hat on. Try it. Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh my god. I think it's broken. Oh my god. Right. I'm nice with stuff like that. I know. I'm just going to whisk it with that. Yeah. And see if it does anything. With a hand whisk. It's so runny. I can smell the white chocolate in it though. Shall I just pour it in? It's, oh, even the camera's not right. Right, I'm pouring it. Look how runny. Oh well. Nothing I can do. Oh, sugar plum. Please, could you open the fridge for me? Oh, look how wobbly it is. Maybe I'll come back to the video in like a week and see if it's there. So that's in. Strawberries, I'm gonna do obviously tomorrow. I'm leaving it overnight, so. Do you either in the morning or tomorrow night? Hello, so we're back. It is currently 10 minutes past seven. The day after so we had to leave it in a lot longer so i checked it this morning and it was it was getting there but i just don't know how it's gonna taste it might i'll show you so you saw how runny it was last night and it isn't runny oh but it's not no it is actually moving a bit but then is that just a cheesecake feel so i'm gonna leave it in a bit longer but it, it's set and i don't think it's going to sit after last night's shenanigans so now i've got strawberries and the rest of the white chocolate which i'm going to drizzle on top i'm going to melt and drizzle on top like that shape and then i'm just going to put them in a pile on the top of the cheesecake i've got a 400 gram pony of strawberries but i've I really don't think I'll need them all. Oh no, I said I was going to make a, like a strawberry sauce actually. Yeah. Apparently we've got to put it in a saucepan, which I don't know, but we're going to do it. So a pint of strawberries, some sugar and some lemon juice and some vanilla extract. I'm going to heat it up, but get out a red non-sticky thing and just mix all that together. It said I can mash a few. So, because that doesn't look like it's going to form anything, does it? Let's mash some. So 
So it says, leave this to simmer for 15 minutes um, and then take one third out of it, put it in the blender. So I'm going to put it in my nature bullet, blend that and pour it back in so there's a bit more of a sauce, not all. Strawberries, so that needs to thicken. I'll let that simmer for 15 minutes and come back to you when I'm putting a third, a half, in the blender. Bec I'm going to do most of it because I've got actual fresh strawberries chopped up. Maybe I'll put all of that in the blender. Screw that on. I'm actually stupid. Right, I've got this out. Honestly, couldn't tell you if it's done or not. Oh, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna pretend it is. And if it doesn't taste nice, then you're not tasting it either. So it's all right. Chocolate, I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. Oh yes, I meant the fridge, but should I put it in the freezer? Okay, I'm gonna put that, the sauce in the fridge. I'm gonna put the cheesecake in the freezer for half an hour. I'll see, I'll come back at half eight. Right, it is, what time is it? Half it's eight. 20 to nine. I'm gonna get it out in the freezer and see if anything's changed. Maybe I'll melt the chocolate first. Give me a bit more time. Try and make this video not be a fail. Wobbly, but it's not going to get any better, so let's go with it. That was Put some of that on it. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't even mean to drop that. Probably should have left it without strawberries on. Oh well, they're on now. No, I don't want the strawberries on. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like an operation, I tell you. I've just tried the strawberry sauce because I thought I've just whacked it all over the melting cheesecake I didn't even try it but it actually tastes really nice I think it'll, be, think it'll taste all right but for a YouTube video I do apologize hello and we're back so today is Thursday it is half three and we're gonna see if it's if it's done anything so here's the masterpiece and I'm just gonna, I don't even think I can cut it. Yeah. Get a little plate out. But I think it might need to go back in the fridge after. I don't think it can be out for that long because it obviously didn't. That's, I can't even just use a knife. It's like flipping soup. <laughs> oh, what an absolute fail. Tastes well, bro. Just don't look the best. So we just get a close up on this absolute. <laughs> look, it's proper melting. Something went wrong, didn't it? It tastes good, so. Do 
very proud of that. Very happy with that. I think I could sell that in the cafe. Maybe not. But, and it's literally, but why, why is it melting so much? What did I do wrong? Charlotte Special, I'll call it. It should taste really good, so. I used the BBC Good Food Strawberry Cheesecake one, which was just like vanilla cheesecake with strawberries on top. Um, but I did white chocolate filling with strawberry juice on top. So then I kind of mixed a few together while leaving them all down. But it was a fail. But it tastes good, so do you class that as a fail? Because I don't, so you do what you want to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't a shambles. I enjoyed doing it, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button or bell so you don't miss any more of my videos.